So in this video, we'll look at an application of uh, limit, and um, the most famous application is um, is the understanding of uh, what we call asymptotes. So um, there are two types of asymptotes in general, and the first type I would like to talk about is called horizontal asymptotes. So let's look at this word horizontal. So um, essentially, horizontal asymptotes. I'm talking about a picture like this, and um, this line is uh, what we call the horizontal asymptote, which is actually a horizontal line. And let's say now the graph I give you um, actually describe the, the function f of x as a curve um, on the xy plane. And, and now let's think about this problem at the moment. If I give you a function f of x, and of course, if the graph is already there, uh, you probably can make a good guess like the position of the horizontal asymptotes. So um, let's find a way to describe the meaning of such a horizontal asymptote. It's kind of like now you have to try to imagine that you're actually traveling along this line. You're actually traveling along this line. So uh, like this. There's a body traveling around here. Um, then we call a horizontal line horizontal asymptote when when you notice that when you keep traveling, like in this case, you are going to the right hand side all the time, and you see this this curve itself, it's not going to touch this line. It's not going to touch this line. It never touch it, but uh, it just keep approaching this line. So uh, please try to understand what I said. I'm not saying that the curve we have here is going to touch the horizontal line at the end. It is not going to touch it. Uh, but what happens is it keeps approaching this line. Uh, it gets closer and closer. I mean, these two lines just get closer and closer all the time when you keep going to the right-hand side. So mathematically, uh, are you able to describe this process by what you learned about the topic of limits? And I think uh, we should be able to do it. Uh, the fact that you keep going to the right-hand side on the line, it described by the notation limit, x goes to positive infinity for the function f of x. And if you do this calculation for the limit x goes to positive infinity for this function f, and you're getting certain constants, let's say constant c, what does it mean? It means that um, the y value, the y value on this graph, um, as the limit x goes to positive infinity, it's going to approach this fixed value c. So uh, it means that essentially, uh, if such situation occurs, if such situation occurs, then y equals z, which is the horizontal line here, is going to be what we call by the horizontal asymptotes. It's the horizontal asymptotes. And similarly, I mean, um, let's think about it for a moment. Of course, there's a chance that, there's a chance that um, we have to look at this situation. Uh, if, um, on the other hand, if you look at the x goes to negative infinity for a function f of x, you get another constant, let's say d. Then, um, of course, y equals d is another horizontal asymptotes. So uh, we have to look at both directions. Because sometimes um, it probably can, can occur, like, uh, for example, like this case. And when you keep going to the left-hand side forever to negative infinity, it's actually approaching um, a horizontal line like this like the picture I described you up here. And in that case, uh, we still call it the horizontal asymptotes. And, um, and there's another type of uh, asymptotes. We actually call it um, the vertical asymptotes here, the vertical asymptotes. So um, let's look at this picture for the vertical asymptotes. You see, you have a vertical line here that separate the two lines. And let's say this graph is once again, um, y equals f of x. Um, we call it vertical asymptotes when you have a situation where, for example, let's call this point B, and you have a situation like this now. You keep traveling, approaching B from the left hand side. You see this line is getting closer and closer uh, to the vertical line. And of course, this vertical line has the uh, equation, which is x equals B. It just gets closer all the time, but it never touched the line x equals B, never. Similarly, if you approach B from the right hand side, it essentially means on the curve you are traveling all the way up. And this line you see here, this line is not going to approach 
um, it's not going to touch the vertical line, but it's just approaching there. And are you able to describe this process based on some mathematical notation by the use of limit? I think this process is kind of like we take the limit, x goes to b minus. x goes to b minus means I'm traveling from uh, the left hand side to the point b, right? So uh, for the function f of x. You see this case, you keep going down forever. So, uh, b, so it means this is negative infinity. And um, in, on the other hand, um, for the opposite side, when you approach b from the right hand side, you're approaching b plus. Now for the current picture, you're getting positive infinity. So uh, these two equations can be used to describe what you have in this picture. So in general, what's the meaning of the vertical asymptotes? It means that, in general, you have to take some uh, limit. For example, if x goes to b plus or minus for the function f, it's going to be a uh, positive or negative infinity. Then, the vertical line x equals b is uh, vertical asymptotes. And uh, we'll do one example in the next page uh, to let you know what happens. Now, um, let's look at the current problem here. So uh, to find the horizontal asymptotes, um, let's do the horizontal part first. Uh, based on my previous uh, picture, uh, the fact is that we have to try to compute a limit like this. For example, positive infinity for the function 3x squared plus 1 divided by x squared minus 9. You see, uh, in this calculation for limit x goes to infinity, what you can do is, you can just keep the highest power term because the trick is that you see one and minus nine, these are the constant term. They are infinitely small comparing to the x squared term when x goes to infinity. Um, the, or the other way to say mathematically uh, in a precise way is that the highest power term in the numerator and denominator, they just dominant all other smaller power terms. And, and of course the constant term is also included. So it means I can just keep the highest power term like this. And of course, the x squared is canceled from the top to the bottom, so having the uh, limit 3. And I think this uh, calculation uh, is not only limited to um, plus infinity. So if you do this uh, to minus infinity for the same function, the basically the same reasoning in the, is applied, and you get 3 also. So uh, these two conclusions means what? It basically just means that the horizontal line y equals 3 is a horizontal asymptotes. So next, let's look at the vertical asymptotes. Uh, so based on my previous picture, to search for this uh, vertical asymptote, let's go back to the uh, function for this graph. You are having a function like this, and we don't need to sketch the graph. It's not necessary. And uh, we have to make a good guess, like for what value of x, We'll see that if you take the uh, limit of this uh, function, it's going to be either positive or negative infinity. Let's make a good guess. Now you're having a fraction. For a fraction uh, to become infinity, I think, uh, of course, uh, the easiest guess is that we need the denominator to be zero. Denominator, because any non zero number divided by zero number is going to be infinity, right? So I think. Um, the other way to say mathematically is that we have to solve uh, for the condition that the denominator is going to be zero. So you have to solve this. And I trust that you're able to do it yourself. So x is basically uh, the same as plus or minus 3. So it means there should be two possibilities here. It's either plus or minus 3, of course, uh, from left side or right side. Uh, because these are the situation such that the denominator is going to be 0. x squared minus 9 is 0 if x is either positive 3 or negative 3. And uh, in those situations, in those situations, this fraction is going to be something like non-zero divided by 0, right? So it's the concept of infinity, basically. So uh, because of this fact, we can easily claim that there are actually two vertical asymptotes here. Uh, either x equals 3 or 
x equals minus 3. Two vertical asymptotes. And um, that's basically the end of this video. And um, in this video, I showed you how to find the horizontal asymptotes and vertical asymptotes.